Hello, Rockstar readers. It's Miss Ferreira. I'm back for yet another chapter of Young Cam Jansen and the Lost Tooth. The last time we were together, we talked about what a summary is. A summary is when you briefly talk about the story, not going over word by word, page by page. You're just giving a short little summary. And I have to do some shout outs to some of my Rockstar students. Shout out to Melanie, Gabby, and DJ. All three of those students gave me a brief little summary on Blooms telling the class what the story is about so far. And in so many words, all three of them said that the story is about Annie and she had a tooth that must have been loose. She ate an apple in art class and when she ate the apple, her tooth fell out. But the problem is she doesn't know where the tooth went. So now we have the other characters, uh, Cam, and also Eric, and they're trying to help her find her lost tooth. So again, good job, Melanie, Gabby, and DJ for your awesome summaries. Those students were also making some predictions earlier in the book as to where the tooth might be. And also some of them even changed their predictions. Gabby, she first was thinking, not Gabby, I'm sorry, Melanie was first thinking that her tooth would be in the paper towel. But now as the story's going on and she sees something, sees some of these things happening, she's like, oh, you know what? I'm changing my prediction. Now I'm predicting that it's in the apple still. Gabby, right from the start, was thinking that when she bit into the apple, the tooth got stuck in the apple. And she still believes that the tooth is in the apple. And DJ, he's also thinking that the tooth is in the apple. So we're just going to have to read more to find out what's going on. All right, so we are up to chapter four, and it's called Wake Up, Cam. Cam, Eric, Annie, and Robert left the art room. Robert said, I didn't think you could say click and find a tooth. The children went into their classroom. It was quiet reading time, kind of like what we do with our independent reading. Cam opened her book, but she did not read. She was thinking about Annie's tooth. Cam closed her eyes and said, click. Please read quietly, the teacher said. Cam whispered, click. She sat for a long time with her eyes closed. And she is determined to try to figure out where this tooth went. Ring, ring, the school bell rang. It was time to go home. Wake up, Cam, wake up, Eric said. It's time to go home. Cam opened her eyes. I was not sleeping. I was thinking about Annie's tooth, but I don't know where it is. Eric said, we have to get our coats and lunch boxes. We have to get on the bus. Cam looked at Eric. Lunch boxes, Cam said. She closed her eyes. Click. Cam quickly opened her eyes. Hmm, she's thinking about that lunchbox. Must be making her think of something here. That's it. I know where to find Annie's tooth. Annie, Annie, Cam called. We have to go to the art room. Huh, now I'm a little confused because she's thinking about that lunchbox and I guess it's making her realize where her tooth was. But as I'm going back in the story, I'm going to go back to the art room here. I'm a little confused because I don't see any lunchboxes in there. I know we don't bring our lunchboxes when we go to art. So I don't think her tooth is in the lunchbox, do you? So why is she all of a sudden thinking of something special and thinking, wow, I think I know where the tooth is because Eric mentioned a lunchbox? Hmm. Well, I want you to think about that and try to explain what Cam is thinking, what's going on in her mind. Uh, do you think you can talk to your parents today and try to think of where the tooth is. Maybe some of you want to keep your predictions the same. Some of you might want to change your predictions. And also with that lunchbox, I don't know, maybe you can explain it to me. All right, boys and girls, tomorrow we're going to read the final chapter, chapter five of Young Cam Jansen, and we're going to see where this tooth could be and 
what's up with that lunchbox? I don't know. All right. Enjoy the rest of the day and rock on. See ya. Bye.